Hey there guys, uh, so let's take a look at some of these funnel examples. We'll start with the membership funnel, then look at the digital product funnel, and then finally the service funnel. So let me, uh, actually let me bring me up here so I can stay in frame. Uh, as you can see, this is Garou. I'm actually gonna make this full screen, there we go. Uh, so we're gonna look around. Um, I want to point out a few things that they had already, as well as a few things that I that we had to build. The bulk of this particular funnel was actually in the membership site area. It was building out the membership site. It was building out the course pages. It was building out the um, and I've got all of these as examples. You can actually see this image in the blog post, so which I'll link down below. Or if you're in the blog post, hello, and you can you can see that image. So this is just an overview. Um, we had a course site that was probably the bulk of the, the expense on this particular product for this customer and was just getting customers in. They already had website traffic, but what we did was build out a long form blog post here. And we also built out uh, a few weekly posts and then their team took over the weekly posts and our job was actually building the pop-up. So I'm actually gonna make this a slightly different color just to differentiate it a bit there. Um, we also built an opt-in page. They all offered the, basically the same thing. Uh, I can't even remember what the lead magnet was now, but it was basically talk through or get talked through an experience ship or something. And they already had quite a high conversion rate. There just wasn't a process linking things together. They were spending a bit of money on Facebook ads. I didn't touch Facebook ads. We didn't do advertising. Uh, that was all of them. They were already t doing that and then continued to do that afterwards. We helped with the phone script which meant that anything that went through to the application page, which was really simple, but it was essentially a questionnaire that was built on their site. And then we had a subdomain, which was our control and our host, which was something like, you know, go.customer.com or whatever. And we would bring people through to a membership site and then we would create the initial product page that delivered the, the course delivered the first like module of the course, or the first lesson of the course, and if they wanted to take it further, they had to buy, so we gave them a taste. So we did two areas here. First of all, we did the, um, ooh, the application form, and again, they already had kind of a script. We just tightened it up and made it processed for them so that they had something to follow. So anyone who went through to the application form and then said, yeah, actually, I'm, I'm interested in this, would go through, join the membership site, get their first lesson for free, something along those lines, and then could buy a product. And the idea is we would continue to add products after products after products. And eventually, these blog posts um, and the opt-ins or the pop-ups would be specific to the, the core, the, the topic, and they've run with this, and they've got everything from uh, marketing to finances to self-preservation and all this kind of stuff. So yeah, they've, they've really taken this and run with it. So that there is the basic membership site that we were building uh, for this particular customer and the basic funnel and you can see what they had already. So again, it's interesting to point out they already had traffic, they already had content, they already had this stuff. We were putting it in a place which made it scalable to sell and kind of took pressure off their guys having to constantly deliver it to them. So that was uh, that's the first example. <laughs> So the second example I want to share with you is the digital product. This is our most common funnel that we used to build. Uh, we built this, I don't know, we built this for dozens and dozens and dozens of businesses uh, because I really understood the model because I have a business that sells digital products. We came from a background of businesses that sells digital products. So I'm just trying to find the, um, here we go, uh, the right one, there we go. Um, so I understood like how to sell digital products because we were selling digital products, but this is basically the customer had a sales page and that was it. And it wasn't a particularly well high converting sales page. In this particular case, they sold a very basic membership. They already had content coming through to the blog post. So again, if I customize this to show what they already had, they already had that and they had YouTube content, but they weren't doing anything with it. Their marketing manager had like a, had put in something, and I'm not having to go at anyone, I just, you know, I, I was there to become perhaps more aggressive um, and to show I wanted to help the audience, basically. The, there was no pop-ups, no opt-ins, and they, they did the classic case of like, oh, well, you know, we don't want to offend anyone, and it's kind of against our brand. I was like, 
fuck any of that. Your job is to make money um, and to get leads to sign up. People hate them, but ours converts anywhere between five and 6%, sometimes higher. So we're gonna start putting that on. And the idea was that we would build this pop-up, put it across all their blog posts. They were already getting tons of traffic per month. Like it was one of the most read blogs in their particular industry or niche in the entire world, right? They also had a fair amount of YouTube content and other videos, so I was like, well, we're gonna create an opt-in page with basically the same opt-in, and it would just give away you know, a lead magnet. Anyone who went through to the lead magnet would go through to this confirmation page, and that confirmation page would sell immediately a $9 a month product. Uh, so we created the order form. Uh, they already had a payment processor, but we set one up that could do things like one-click upsells, uh, could handle multiple products, and more importantly, if people didn't sign up, they were basically sending people to this page and saying, hey, if you wanna buy it, go for it. But I was like, we should be sending anyone who signs up as a lead to that page, not just having random traffic click on it or not click on it. And again, they were very like, oh, well, you know, we don't wanna, we don't wanna offend anyone. I'm like, what the fuck is wrong with you people? Just like there is it's such an enormous opportunity here so it really frustrated me at their particular attitude um, which i've talked about but um and since then like i said we've had this this particular funnel go on and on and on i use it for our business i use it for sell your service i use it for tons of other businesses so anyone who signed up but didn't buy we would then do a like a gain logic fear sequ sequence from digital marketer and put them through to the sales membership and basically it was kind of a one to three ratio ish for every one person who signed up here roughly three would buy uh, from the gain logic fear sequence so that was really good to to kind of bolster that um, and they already had a current list so we wrote out a launch campaign to that same product and the idea is we would then extend this out and build further products uh, which they had you know and then continue that process of of just um, launching it creating a launch campaign selling it taking the launch emails that worked uh, putting that into an automation sequence and then you know three months after signing up or three months after being a customer just put that on automation and it would just kind of work away in the background uh, so that was a digital product sale that was a digital product funnel that we built and this final one is for a service now this was one of our most complex but bizarrely actually had the least to it and although it looks perhaps more complex than the others it's actually very very simple they basically had a low ticket product here a high ticket product and, sorry, a medium ticket product and a high ticket product. And there was nothing really kind of connecting any of it. It was all basically on what the customer wanted to do. So what we did is built out this chat sequence here, which essentially took any of the traffic that they already had and said, and qualified them. If they were a low value customer, we put them off to a low value sales page, which took care of itself. And again, they had that already, but they were having to have human people kind of do that for them. Uh, we then had a, a, a high, new high value client go through to a proposal page uh, where they would fill out details and we would write a proposal. A lot of it was automated and then send them through and they would buy that. People would buy that product. Um, um, and then we would also have it for current clients um, to go through uh, and, and create a sales page. So this chatbot here was, was pretty in-depth. It was quite complex, a lot of routes, a lot of automation in there, but that worked really well. Um, and then on the other side, we had two launch campaigns. This was to kind of everyone, like this one here, uh, number two. Number three was to their like highest possible value customers. There was only 10 or so. And we were gonna get them to go straight through, to essentially to a sales pitch for a really high ticket product and continue nurturing them and, and working with them. But you can see that anyone who's a current client was going through to account management. And it was a new client, we just wanted to write up a proposal for them because typically we found that they would buy, the, soon, the faster we got a proposal to them, the more likely they were to buy. And low value clients, it was stuff like they could you know pretty much order that a, a, as a product not even a service it was so it was so like cut and dry like a cookie cutter approach so it was just about filtering them off so to give more time back to the the high value clients and the, the, the clients that needed that time so those were the three funnels 
that we built, uh, the three most popular funnels that we built, all of them over 25K. Those are the three easiest examples that I could think of to give. So you've got examples in the link down below or, or, or the images in the blog post. Uh, so yeah, I hope that was useful. In the meantime, guys, if you've built any funnels like this, let me know in the comments down below. Thank you so much for joining me on this video. In the meantime, I will see you on the next video. Thanks very much for watching. I'm Mike from Sell Your Service. Oh, and if you haven't subscribed and you're a funnel builder, please go ahead and do that. I publish new videos every single week, helping funnel builders like you build and sell marketing funnels for your customers. Um, and yeah, if you could leave me a comment or share it or give me a thumbs up, that really helps me out and shows me that I'm moving in the right direction uh, or sharing the video as well is a huge help to me as well. So if you could do that. In the meantime, I will see you on the next video. Have courage, commit and take action.